Alright, what's up? How's it going here? We've got another art reaction today, and today I'll be reacting to Paul Klee's My Room, 1896, and this is a pen and ink wash, which a new a, a new little uh, a new little uh, evolution for this channel. I I, I know two sort of ink paintings and two d different types of paintings as opposed to oil on canvas in a row but we'll see my last video obviously wasn't all too successful you can I, I strongly suggest you watch it if you haven't uh, it, it may not mean by be my best work but who knows maybe you'll enjoy the painting and uh all right this painting is also known as minor buddha i B buddha I guess that would be the uh, original German name for it. And uh, that being said, Paul Klee is Swiss German, and uh, he's. The, uh, I'm I'm giving a little bit of background here because one, this is a painting that he did while he was very young. I'd say I. I don't know if he was. Uh, I think he might have. This might have been like before he was twenty years old, but I, either way, he he was he was relatively young, and he went on to become a. He he's a very interesting person, and maybe I can make some uh, vi other videos about him. He's he's connected with Kandinsky as well, who's my favorite painter. So that's that's all, all the more reason to get excited for this. And yeah, so. Let's pop right into this. Right off the bat, we see his little signature there. It's just his name printed, and then the date, which is, uh, of course, 1896, as I said earlier. Mina Buddha. So that's in cursive, but his name isn't. Now, this is interesting, because this is, you know, I'm actually going to quickly, okay. So, yeah, he was uh, 18 when, no, sorry, 17 when he painted this. So, as a... This is sort of the uh, the room of an adolescent, you could say. And to be honest, given that the this is pre turn of the turn of the twentieth century, this is this is the eighteen hundreds here, and that this seems like a relatively contemporary room. Like if I mean, you've got a desk, you've got a mirror. I mean, not not perfect, but. Like this would probably be a TV if uh, if it was in if it was in the current if it's in the present maybe it's either another mirror or it's a painting, but like you could I uh, other than and definitely not this candle but potentially actually you you see you see this and this this sort of feels contemporary this feels a bit timeless a lot kids rooms sorry uh, adolescent rooms will always be pretty uh simple you know sort of sparsely adorned maybe maybe a bookshelf maybe a little desk definitely a lamp maybe another little desk a, a chair a bed these are all commonalities for people of all ages for sorry for adolescents in all ages of time and right here interesting little thing uh it looks like a picture of a guy grabbing a star and holding a sword so maybe that's some subliminal messaging or maybe he's just like shoot for the stars or maybe he's just painting what he sees in his room and that's in his room but interesting nonetheless and we see we have this uh, wallpaper here which gives a very interesting texture to the painting and I did my research and wallpaper did exist in 1896, I wasn't entirely sure, but it, it definitely did. So I, I, I'd assume this is wallpaper. I, I mean, it could have just been, you know, a painted wall, or it could even potentially be, maybe some sort of plaster up on there to give a texture. But I'm not entirely sure. I, I'd go with a uh, wallpaper for now. And we see, we see these nice little textures here. I always love these lines that are sort of just thin little lines that go in opposite directions cuz otherwise this is just a regular uh bookcase with a, bit, a candle sticking out of it 
and now it's a little bookcase with some texture to it with some uh it's a little it's a little bit more tasty you know not just bland uh sort of wood filler you know wood painting like you paint like you're painting wood it's interesting and obviously this is a th this is a very small painting by the way it's the image that I'm viewing now on my computer screen is larger than the painting itself which that might seem hard to believe that's a bit crazy but this painting's about uh, f four inches by s four and a half inches maybe by seven and a half inches so this is that I think I was over exaggerating right there like this is a small painting so it's the I guess the or picture so I guess the detail isn't uh, isn't as well represented on this screen but this is a, obviously a very beautifully draped little uh, piece of cloth right here over the bookcase and you see the books are it does a good job of making sure they don't all just look like books bland old books lined up like this there's there's some stuff sitting here that sort of looks like it might be a model sailboat maybe and uh, so as opposed to just having the books lined up here, he has them not only on their sides, but all turned with the papers facing this way instead of the binding facing that way, which is uh, it, it creates a little bit of liveliness to it. And you've got to you can uh, assume from this painting that uh, Klee is a bit studious because he has a uh, books here, books there, a book there that might be actually a drawing but books books all around and sure books were the only form of entertainment back then really but still that's that's quite a few books i mean um, there there are definitely people who didn't have that many books and we take a look here at this uh little window frame which may also be a door I'm not entirely sure I, I wasn't able to discern that myself but this uh, little circle right here maybe a knob or of some sort I can't be entirely sure but so this is either a little window or a door and we can see on the other side a little twig plant sticking up and that's uh interesting a lot of this painting has to do with uh, a lot of the painting is it's it sort of seems like a little test you know like a little practice painting like okay uh, all right well I want to make sure that we get this sense of depth here I want to bring this corner and I want to make sure it's really dark there and you know maybe a little bit less dark here and have this sort of uh, potentially a light fixture or maybe just he's an interesting guy who paints on his walls who knows and of course I can't miss this plant right here which while it, it's a bit hard to see like a lot of the stuff in the painting it's, it's uh it certainly provides a little bit of life to the room otherwise you, if you think about it there's not a single living thing in this room I mean sure that could be living but that's not in the room and I didn't even I haven't even gotten to the floors yet, unfortunately. But this is this is wild. There's there's some sort of pattern going on here. Either way, thank you very much for viewing this video, this reaction video, to uh, Paul Klee's My Room, pen and ink on paper. Uh, oh yikes! I've gone to nine minutes. Am I sorry? I'm sorry. 1896. Thank you very much for watching.